Today, I'll be sharing how rewarding it is to perform random acts of kindness. Don't go away. Rose colored glasses, take one. Hi, I'm Dana. And I'm Angel. And you're watching Rose Colored Glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. In a world where people are quick to talk about the things they dislike, we want to keep it positive. So we'll be individually and collectively telling you about all the things we do like. We hope you enjoy the show. And if you do, please hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, and come back again. Hi everyone, I'm Angel Logan and thank you for joining me today on Rose Colored Glasses with Lord and Lady Logan. If you're new to our channel and you want to watch some of our previous shows or you're a current subscriber trying to catch up on episodes that you've missed, you can search us on YouTube by typing at Rose Colored Glasses Logan, going to the hashtag Rose Colored Glasses, or type the following web address into your browser youtube.com slash at rosecoloredglasses-logan. Lately, we've been hearing all over the news about various individuals and organizations that are finding big, small, and creative ways to perform random acts of kindness for people all over the globe. Not long ago, I heard about an organization based out of Oregon called Wildly Kind. This is an amazing organization that's finding all kinds of ways to spread kindness by secretly leaving gift cards, cash, and positive notes for people who aren't expecting it, or even paying for some people's groceries. But also, they found a cool way to spread their kindness in other geographical locations with their weekly Tuesday Takeover Volunteer Program. They'll help you create and plan your own random act of kindness to perform within your own community, and Wildly Kind will pay for it. Plus, as a nonprofit organization, they're also accepting donations that enable them to continue spreading kindness from coast to coast and beyond. Isn't this amazing? The thing is that our economy has become a little dicey for a lot of people. Some who were solvent without any financial worries yesterday could be counting their pennies today. In fact, you could be standing next to someone at the line at the supermarket who's living paycheck to paycheck or next to a previous business owner whose retail store didn't even survive the impact of the pandemic. Some may not be suffering financially, but instead may be experiencing some type of loss, hardship, or another life challenge. You just never know what someone's personal situation is or the reasons that they're having a hard time. And many people are too proud and private to say. The last thing they would want is for anyone else to know about their struggles or to have their personal business made public for all to see. This is the reason that being kind to others is even more important. Human beings need to receive kindness from others, but even more, we need to give it. Kindness comes in all forms. It's not measured by value, quantity, or size. It's measured in compassion, care, and sincerity. You don't have to have a lot of money or material things to do something kind for another human being. As long as what you do comes from the heart, you'll be helping another more than you may realize. I think that the best and most authentic way to show kindness is without taking credit for it. This will help a private person to maintain their dignity and not make them feel as though they owe you for your act of kindness. You could pay for the coffee, meal, or groceries of the person behind you in line at the cafe, the store, or restaurant without them even knowing it. You could quietly leave a gift card or flowers on the desk of a coworker. You could leave a little extra money in the parking meter for the next car that arrives. Or you could make and send a care package anonymously to someone who's having a tough time.
If you don't have the extra money to spend, that's okay. There are countless ways that you could share kindness with someone else. You could shovel your neighbor's walk or mow their lawn when you know they aren't home. You could clean or sanitize a common area in your apartment building, such as the laundry room, or clean the commonly used doors. You could drop off some clothing, blankets, or linens to a local shelter. Or you could leave a positive and inspirational note for someone to find. Other ways to show kindness would be to surprise an old friend with a live phone call instead of the usual text or online message. Bake some cookies or a cake to give to a neighbor or a close friend. You could leave a greeting card for your postal or delivery carriers thanking them for their service to you. Or you could simply smile at someone who is frowning. You would be amazed at how one smile can brighten up someone's entire day. I think that one of the most important benefits from performing random acts of kindness is how good it makes us feel to do something nice for someone else. In fact, often helping others gives us the distance and clarity we need to solve or cope with some of our own problems. There's nothing more rewarding than knowing that you've put a smile on a sad face, gave comfort to someone who was feeling lost, improved the day of someone who was having a really bad day, or you helped someone who was desperately in need. Kindness comes from the heart, and whether you do a lot or just a little, you could make someone else's life better just by showing that you care. If you'd like to learn more about the Wildly Kind organization that I mentioned earlier to donate or participate as a volunteer in your own community, you can visit their website at wildlykind.org. We want to hear from you. In the comments section below, tell me about a creative random act of kindness that you performed. Thank you for watching. If you click on more in the description section below right above the comments, you'll find links and information about our channel and today's show. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying our show. And I hope that you'll visit again to take a look through our rose color glasses. Until next time.